Good evening and welcome back to Inside the Southern University System. I'm Robin Merrick, your co-host, and it's time to talk around campus. Things that are going on in and around the Southern University System, of course, and today we're highlighting the Baton Rouge campus. And this event that we want to talk about is not just going on on, on the Baton Rouge campus, it's actually going on throughout the country. It's an international program. I've got Dr. Moose Diak, who is joining us here today from Math and Science Education. Good evening, Dr. Diak, and welcome to Inside the Southern University System. Well, good, good, good evening, Robin, and, and, and thank you for having me. I am very, very glad to be back again to this, uh, oh, to, to this program. We are glad to have you back because you're doing great things. The last time you were here with us, we were talking about your Merlot project, which of course is not wine, but it, it deals with international computer education and working across the uh, globe on various resources for educators and that was really great and today you were back because you're always doing something and you stay so very busy uh, we don't know how to keep up with you but we're just glad you're here in the country Thank and you. That we can have you here today to share with us about the new SUBR LAS project that you've got going on if you share a bit about that with yeah us. for the, the LAS as you know uh, I, I'm just finishing my term after two years uh, presidency of the, the, the Louisiana Academy of Science I wanted before even getting there really to be thankful of uh, the, 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 the great university that we have, that is Southern University, that uh, really provide a lot of opportunities. And uh, uh, I'm just finishing my term right now and I was very, very glad to see that uh, at the closing of our 83rd uh, uh, conference meeting. Wow, I was given uh, a big plaque with the, where they have all the president of the, 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 the Louisiana Academy of Science previously. And I was the 63rd president, and I was glad to realize that I was the first of African descent, you know, to be president really? of the academy. So I was okay. very, very, kind of very, very proud and happy. Oh, happy I'm sure. That. Yes. I, I am yes. so, so sure. Yes. And you are, like I said, you stay busy, and, and you have a number of things going on. In addition to the Louisiana Academy of Science, you are now working with Open Education Resources. Yes. And yes. Share yes. with us about yes. it. Yes. Uh, thank you. This is just, uh, uh, I would say, a global movement where finally we realize that uh, if we get to a point where the educational resources that are available throughout the internet, you know, if we can make that available to all communities around the world, mm -hmm. that can help a little bit promote, you know, uh, uh, the access to everybody to for education, which is really one of the UN uh, for instance program to promote you know access to education. Mm -hmm. Now it, it is done very very in a in a way that is really changing the world right now, uh, mainly depending on the copyright issue. When I generate now an educational resource as faculty member, mm -hmm. what I would do, I would just tie to that something that is called a Creative Commons, telling everybody around the world that here is the resource that I have generated. You can take it, you can modify it, and you can really customize it to your own environment and deploy it in order to support education. I want This okay. is now the open education movement. Uh, uh, now, uh, around that also there is something that is called the open access movement. So we've got open education and, and open, open access. access. Those okay. are my two keywords. And, and the open access is looking for really releasing, for instance, publication in the science domain. I see. Instead of having, you know, the publisher now to have exclusive right around those, mm -hmm. to find a way that when it is published, like if we publish something through the, the NIH, for instance, okay. to make sure that those publications are going to be available to the globe. And as a matter of fact, our president, our dear president, uh, Obama, just to sign out really as a law right now for the National Institute of Health okay. from now on to release all the publications that are fun funded by the U.S. government oh, really? to the public. Wonderful. So and typically these like things happen to some degree, but the access and availability is just not there. People, it's, I guess it's not on their radar. And if we put it out there and make it more available to them, I think you know, we're raising Absolutely. the consciousness and the awareness oh. And the, the, I guess the educational levels of our individuals without absolutely, absolutely, to, to absolutely, that absolutely. And, and what I wanted to add to that, Robin, is that we are getting to a point where, with all the crises that we're going through now, mm -hmm. it is time for us to turn around a little bit and you know be more aware about what is available there, right. so that we can sustain our communities. Because, uh, it, in my opinion, that's really the key. 
to right. solving some of the main, you know, oh, absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. And having them understand what the, what the real issues yeah. are yeah. out there. And it is good to know that, of course, uh, the U.S. government is involved in, oh, of course, absolutely. President Obama and all absolutely. the things that he's doing. I, mean, I just can't wait to see what the remaining four years are going to look like absolutely. Uh, with him with him at the helm absolutely. of the things that are going to happen. Uh, the next thing that we, we were looking at is the Manila Awards yes. that you have. Yes. And yes. Uh, like I said, you're busy. Yes. This is, this is a, once again an international piece that's going on. Yes. Uh, a great competition, but tell us about the Manila yes. Awards. Yes, but, but the Manila Award is really something that we have started last year and we gave the award in Kenya and uh, during the e-learning Africa conference and this is a conference that is really changing a lot of things right mm -hmm. now in Africa. Okay. Uh, we gave out some awards there on uh, leadership in open education resources, uh, the development of quality resources that can be used in teaching and learning and we were looking also in software authoring tool that can be used to develop open education resources. I want to just make a point on at least one of them. Okay. The idea behind is really to be able to influence the decision at the global level. Okay. You still now have countries in Africa where in terms of higher education they don't have lab, science lab. Mm -hmm. When we get to a point where we can create virtual environment with the right model mm -hmm. there, student can exactly do what they would do in a science lab in a virtual environment really? and learn exactly the great concept. Okay. This is what is behind the Manila Award. And at this point now we have an international chair that is looking into those quality. Okay. So I'm really looking forward to that. And, 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 and I'm hoping that we're going to make a difference, really, uh, at the global level. OK, now this Manila Award is going to be given where this year? It is going to be given at uh, uh, the eLearning Africa the, uh, 2009, going to be held in Dakar, my Dakar. country. Very my good. country. Yes, and, uh, country. Absolutely. And during the closing of the ceremony of the Pan-African Forum, okay. in the morning session, you know, we intend to give that out. Uh, we are having in a lookout, we're making some arrangement with hopefully the Ministry of Education okay. in France, you know, okay. to be part of this, and the Ministry of Education in Senegal. Okay. You know, because in France, there's, there's a lot of things going on in the area of open education resource now. And that's a good thing. That's yes. a good thing. And particularly as we become more global, as not only a nation, but everything is moving to be more global. Mm -hmm. So no longer do we have just the silo of the United States, mm -hmm. Canada, uh, Mexico, and so on and so forth. It's going to all really mesh together, and, and, and the barriers are broken. Absolutely. And we're all coming across. And then, you know, you're